Hey guys, what's going on? DZ here. I'm going to show you how to flash your Hummingbird with the latest firmware uh, we have available. So you want to connect first, click load firmware, make sure you downloaded the correct firmware for your FC. Then you want to select that firmware, click open, and click flash firmware. And that's going to go ahead and automatically put in DFU mode. If you look up here, it is in DFU. It is erasing. Then it'll go ahead and flash. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and press connect just to make sure that the flash took and that everything's okay in beta flight. So you can see here it's verifying flash. It says it's good. We're going to connect just to make sure. And it looks like we are good. So we're going to go ahead and move on to flashing BL Heli. So we're going to do that next. Make sure you do download the same thing. Make sure you download the correct firmware for your ESCs. We're going to connect here. Then I'm going to connect a battery to the Hummingbird just to make sure everything's good to go. Once I do have that connected, I'm going to click uh, check just to make sure that everything's good. And then I will click on the load the firmware. So here we are, everything's good to go. So flash other, we're gonna click on flash other. We're gonna select the firmware that is for this setup here. Once that's selected, you click open or double click it. It'll give you some warnings, you click yes. Uh, some more warnings saying if it's the wrong stuff, it'll blow up your quad basically. So make sure you do use the correct firmware. I'm gonna have that listed down in the description. So here, on the first one, we're going to let it run through at real time. Then after that, for ESC 2, 3, and 4, we're going to make it super fast so you don't have to sit here and watch that happen. Uh, but yes, click yes to everything here, and then it'll bring it up again. Select the correct firmware. That's going to go to ESC 2, and then the same thing for 3, and the same thing for 4. If you do get any errors in during this process, start over just to make sure that your ESCs won't fry. So right here, it's done. It looks good to go. And the last thing I do for the setup, if you are using the recommended setup that Newbie Drone recommends with our motors, we go high and high here. We go 1,000, 2,000 here, and then the startup power is 1.5. Uh, once you have all that information in there, you want to write that to all the ESCs. So you click Write Setup, and then it'll show when it is done. So you click Write Setup here, go through the process, write OK, and you are done.